Hey folks, a quick video to run through our water backup system and how it works. There are six major components to this system. The tank, the ball valve, the pump, the pressure monitor, the pressure tank, and the changeover valve. In talking through how the water flows through the system, we will touch on each of these. The municipal water enters the property underground from this direction and used to connect directly to this section here with a cutoff valve and pressure regulator. Below the ground, the pipe was split and now runs towards the tank. When we get to the tank, there is a T piece that splits the flow to the tank and to the bypass. More about the bypass in a bit. The water then flows towards the tank where it is regulated by a floating ball valve. This keeps the tank full at all times. At the bottom of the tank, it feeds into the pump. The pump is connected to an electrical socket here. The pump pushes the water out in this pipe, which is also connected both to the outgoing pipe and to a pressure tank. The pump has a sensor that will detect the pressure of the water in the pipe and automatically turn the pump on or off. So when the sensor detects that the pressure falls below 2 bar, it will turn on and stay on until the pressure is again above 2 bar. From here the water flows to the changeover valves. Under normal conditions, it will flow across and down into the outbound pipe. This reconnects to where the line was cut before and proceeds into the property from there. If we wanted to bypass the pump, we could close the outgoing valve, meaning that the pump would stay under pressure and never turn on. We would then also open this bypass, which means that we close the circuit and flow back into the original junction. That's it. Hope this makes sense and helps you in your setup.